it's today it marks exactly one month since that election uh, verdict, election uh, results day, right? Fourth of June was when we got the election results, uh, and it's uh, one month. And it seems like a distant memory uh, because not just, I mean, the verdict itself, but also where we were in terms of levels. So the, the changes will come up on your screens. Uh, Nifty is up 11 percent, you know, uh, in the last one month. Uh, the Bank Nifty is up 12 percent in the last one month. The Mid Cap Index is up 16 percent in the last one month. The Small Cap Index is up 20 percent, and the Micro Cap Index is up 24. So as you go down, as you go down and down and down, gains keep getting bigger and bigger. I mean, from large caps, uh, you go down to the uh, sort of mid caps, to small caps, to micro, gains are larger. And that kind of tells you something about the kind of market that we're in. Sectorally as well, same one month return. This is all, by the way, not from the lows of that day when the market had that, you know, Nifty fell 1,700 points, but from the close. Uh, so uh, CPSA index, 18% in the last one month. That's uh, uh, public set of stocks. IT index, 17%. Real estate went up 14, uh, you had oil and gas up 14, and you had private banks, which went up 13%. So this is, uh, you know, quite amazing uh, to really uh, s uh, sort of look at and behold. And, you know, the what to watch out for, we know. There have been earnings and IT will be first off the block. Stocks have rallied. Budget, we're still waiting for a date. Will it be the 22nd? Will it be, you know, in that week, sometime that week, we'll get the date, uh, sort of date. Positioning is clearly one-sided. Uh, and I think we've been highlighting the fact that one of the data points in that sense is the FI positioning in index futures, which is now close to about 4 lakh crores or so. Uh, but, uh, you know, all of this also means that the hunt for new ideas, Nimesh, and we've spoken about this, yeah. is, is manic. People are acting on, you know, uh, just names and, you know, the first time you hear something and next you look, the stock is up 10%, 15%. Mm. Uh, that's the kind of markets. What I j just quickly did, uh, Sonia, is looked at the new initiations in this last one month or so uh, from brokers, it's actually, and it's, uh, it's always like that. It's not the foreign guys, but it's the local guys who are more clued in. So Goldman, I think, is the only large foreign broker who, in, who had those initiations. TB, we discussed some of this, TBO Tech and uh, Map My India and Unum India, Unum India. Uh, but look at uh, Spark, which is, uh, you know, South-based uh, broker now, of course, part of Avendis. They initiated on tips industries. They initiated on prudent corporate advisory. You look at uh, IFL uh, equities, NetWeb Technologies, JNK India, and I'm only highlighting things which are not well covered otherwise. Uh, Kotak initiated, actually, Kotak uh, JB Chemicals, I think it's well covered, Kofo, Jamaraja, etc. BNK initiated on Arkean Chemicals, Vinati Organics, Axis, TBO Tech, Novama, Bikaji Foods, Medi Assist, and uh, somebody like uh, Incred initiated on MTAR Tech. It's not an exhaustive list. I mean, there are many others uh, as well, but I think it just shows you that uh, people are sort of hunting for ideas. They want newer names because, uh, you know, what is already out there, what is already well known is kind of uh, juiced up quite a bit. But it's interesting you say that, you know, because